Welcome to Kindergarten First Grade Chapel. I'm excited to tell you what we're learning in Kindergarten First Grade. And um, in this chapel, we're going to be talking about King David and King Saul, and who King David is and who King Saul is. And so my students and kindergarten are going to be showing us, telling us what, um, who they are, and um, I'm telling you. But first of all, I want to tell you that kindergarten and first grade have been learning what David, who David is. And David is a king. Um, he was a shepherd, and that God has called him. And know that David is not a perfect person. He makes a lot of mistakes, but David fixed his eyes on God. Well, King Saul, he was chosen to be king. And uh, King Saul, did, um, he first started to uh, follow God and do what God's telling him, but then he stopped fixing his eyes off of God and stopped fixing on people and things around them. And that's where his downfall is king. And but at the same time, we know that God can still use us and God can still mold us and shape us to be more like him. So um, in this chapel, you're going to be listening and hearing some of the things that my students are learning and who David is. And um, I'm excited to tell you. So God bless. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Um, yeah, today we want to share with you um, what we learned in kindergarten class for Bible. We learned um, about King David and how King David was chosen by God to lead his people. Um, he was chosen by God not because of his appearance and what he looked like, um, <laughs> uh, but because what was in his heart and how he loved God and followed God. Um, even though he, when he got older, he did make mistakes in his life. Um, he really asked God for forgiveness and he continued to um, walk with God and we see that he really loved God with all his heart and um, he really did um, what was right in the eyes of God and he was called a man after God's own heart so yeah and so for you guys God doesn't just look out to see we're small we're tall but he looks at what's in our heart okay so yeah David is the little shepherd boy who beat Goliath. David is Jesse's youngest son. David is a shepherd and takes care of sheep and brings food to his brother. David is a shepherd boy. David was courageous. He believed in God. David was a man of God, the shepherd. David is the shepherd. He killed the people, most of the people. No, what's the person's name he tried to kill that he oh, killed? Oh, he killed Goliath. David fought Goliath. He killed 10,000 enemies. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousand enemies. David killed Goliath. David became king after Saul died. David is a shepherd. He beat Goliath in a fight. God was very important to David. God is important to David. Jonathan. God is more important to David. God. God and his best friend, Jonathan. God was important to David. Saul was Israel's first king. Jonathan, that father. King Saul is the king of the Israelites. King Saul is the king of Israel. King Saul is um, Jonathan's dad and ruler. King Saul is the king of Israel. King Saul was jealous because he knew David would go for peace. Saul was jealous because everyone liked David. Because David killed most of the people. King Saul was jealous jealous because the women were saying that Saul killed thousands of 
his enemies, but David killed tens of thousands. David was popular. King Saul was jealous because David killed more enemies than him. King Saul was jealous because David killed tens out of the thousands. Saul was jealous, so he sent him on David's mission. King Saul tried to kill David. Tried to kill David with a sword. King Saul wanted to kill David. He tried to kill David. Tried to kill David. When King Saul was jealous, he wanted to kill David. Psalm 23, verses 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name. Say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff they comfort me surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.